Over the past four years, former IBF, WBA, WBC, and WBO welterweight world champion Terence Bud Crawford has defended his WBO title only once a year. With the exception of heavyweight, all other weight classes require two defenses per year and at least one against a top opponent, unless it is a potential unification bout. Back in 2020, Crawford spent 11 months before defending Kel's special Brook. In November 2020, he stopped Amir Khan and Agitijus Kavalianuskas. In 2019, he won title by stopping Jeff Horn in August 2018. In 2021, as a sole defense, Crawford arrested Sean Porter of Las Vegas, Nevada. In December 2022, he arrested David Avanesian of Omaha, Nebraska, 13 months after beating Porter. In Crawford's last fight in July 2023 in a unification bout, he stopped WBA, WBC, and IBF champion Errol The Truth, Spence Jr. There was supposed to be a two-fight deal, but Spence announced he was moving up to super welterweight. I don't want revenge. Crawford continues to try to move up to super middleweight and challenge champion Saul Canelo Alvarez, who chose to defend his title against his own weight class opponents, except he did was defeated when he tried to move up again to light heavyweight, but lost. In August this year, Crawford decided to move up to super welterweight by fighting WBA champion Israel, the Dream, Madrimov, in Los Angeles, California, while fighting for the vacant WBO interim title. Since leaving the welterweight division, IBF interim champion Jaron Boots Ennis has taken on the role of IBF title-winning protagonist. Ennis has signed with Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing, and appears to be the most likely replacement for Crawford. Hearn offered the new WBA champion a unification bout, but was turned down. Crowley is also the WBC number one contender. But in a recent press conference, he said, Ennis is the best in the division, so I agreed to fight him. He and Ennis hadn't fought in a year in July. Hearn's hopes for a Crawford versus Ennis match failed when Crawford moved up in weight. He claimed he wanted a bigger fight for the money, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Having only won one title each of the past four years, Crawford has been lucky not to have his title stripped.